In the last couple of weeks, Radio Shack has started to carry the Parallax series of sensors. Uh, this is the review of the accelerometer chip that I purchased for about $30. And it here is sitting on the Arduino board. This is the Arduino with the prototyping shield on top of it. And you can see right in the middle is the accelerometer board. I have a blue LED hooked up to show the output. It's currently drawing power from the laptop and there my serial program is downloading the uh, statistics from the accelerometer. This is using hyperterminal. Uh, you can see as, as I turn the, uh, the board to the left and to the right the coordinates on the Y axis change. When I hold it in the middle the coordinates read around 9,000. As I rotate it to the right, they go all the way up to about 12,000, and they hold their they hold their position. As I turn it to the other side, toward us, the coordinate goes down to about 5,000. And when I flip it over, it reads right to 9,000 again. So if it's on this side, it's about 9,000. It's on this side, it's about about 8,000 or 9,000. Uh, the x-axis is held constant at about 10, a lot, about 11,000 as I keep it flat. As I rotate it downward, it goes down to about 7,000. And as I rotate it the other way, it goes out to about 15,000. And I put it right down in the middle. And as I rotate it, it keeps the position while rotated. In other words, it doesn't just measure the change in direction, it measures the absolute uh, configuration of the device in three-dimensional space. Now this circuit with the Arduino took about, about five minutes to set up. I was able to use source code, uh, open source software that I downloaded from the Arduino homepage, and the device itself, of course, is also open source. Uh, with all of that, I was able to use the programming and the code um, in, in a very short time. I would say that the uh, the chip so far has definitely met expectations for something I could buy off the shelf. If you think just a couple of years ago you would never have found something uh, this fun or complex on Radio Shack and you certainly wouldn't have been able to get it working in under half an hour. Uh, so I'm quite pleased and uh, this is another one for the open source community.